another episode of BSB, Car of the Wind. <sighs> Little baby bear. Um, out here live baiting. Been flicking all day. Uh, you'll see the footage after that later. Um, Chuck that little barrow back. Right, hey guys, we're up in far north Queensland. Not going to say where exactly. Um, let's just say thank you to the TOs. Um, I'll basically sum up where we could be. So, um, fishing weekend and uh, see how we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the third and the last day before we head back and we were trying to get as many fish as we possibly could within the bag limit obviously and we just were struggling to find a fish in the first two days. We had come up with a couple of pop barriers and nothing serious. This spot, two drains leading out of this little creek. We just kept hitting it and we just kept having barra after barra and it hit the ultra hit. We've been catching everything from the GTs to barra to threes. Channel. Yep, yep. I don't know what it is. What is that, Trevelli? Yeah. Oh, baby queenie. Barra's got gills, side rakers, and they kind of start to splinter the, the leader. It's best you change them over every, um, you know, just got to feel it. And when you start feeling that worn out, you got to change it because, you know, the next fish we might get might be a meter or 80 centimeter, and yeah, they, they pull like a freight train, so don't be lazy. Change your leader. Oh, nice looking fish. Yeah, yeah. coming in your side. Yeah. Keep down, 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 down. Yeah, beauty. Woo Getting a few now. He's legal. Put it right there. Jumping and spitting every time. That's yeah. Take him. Jake, a little tip. If you want a nice photo of the barrow, this spikes up and looking nice and flared. Give him a little shake. That's how you get the fingers up and nice and sharp. One with legs. Yeah, yeah, it's one with legs. Oh, hit, 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 hit. Yeah, good fish. Oh. Oh, Connor. Oh, see that? Fuck, it In this clip, you can see Connor holding his rod down and sideways. That is stopping the barra from jumping up, which sometimes when the barra jumps up, it spits the lure. You see how Connor's holding it down low? That is making sure the barra does not jump out of the water, losing the lure. Come around. Get in the bag.
Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, love it. Follows everything. Well, it's only taken us six hours. I'm getting hit every time I get there, eh? As you just heard, you heard Connor saying he doesn't want to get too close. So where we're casting is where the milky water is leading into the nice green stuff. And we're trying to stay in the green stuff, casting the milky. And that's where the bar are hiding, waiting for the mullet or the bait fish to come out of those little creeks. So there is two little creeks about 300 metres apart and we would drift down from spot to spot, flicking lures along it. And every time you hit the milky bar, that's where the barrel for the trees were. Well. Oh, ready! Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's ready! Yeah, he's not that huge. Oh, it's in it, it's ready. Or a salmon or a pink, he's coming towards me. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, get in it, get in it. Nice, mate. Cheers. Another little tip, guys. Every time you see me netting a fish, I always go head first. A fish is used to their flight or fright response, so if you put something behind them, most times they're going to go like the clappers. So put the net in front of them and let the fish swim in. Oh, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Ah! I've been letting uh, him take it. Yeah, but my line's a lot loose. My, light, my line's a lot, lot lower than yours. So I gotta like wind up the slack just to give him. Feel the hit. So Connor's got a vibe on. I've got a what are they called? Pearl Z Man. Anyway, Z Man, soft plastic. Connor's hitting the bottom and bouncing it. And I'm doing a bit the same. When you're flicking new areas and you're just starting out, always try different methods. I just, I just spoke then about Connor was using a vibe and I was using a soft plastic. Both bouncing off the bottom and doing different kinds of retrieval. Bouncing, straightforward, slow wind, quick little zippy zappies. There's lots of different ways to catch fish, you just need to work out what works for them. Oh yeah! That's a thready. Thready, Connor, thready. Salmon. Come on, mate. Yeah, get in, get in, get in. All right, all right. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, mate, he's going to fall out. Yeah. Geez, I don't know about that netting skills, but That's anyway, we'll, um, we'll deal with that another day. So guys, as you can see, my lure has changed. Um, if you're having a quiet spell, the tides are changing. Change lures, change it up. We were constantly getting hit, and all of a sudden, the white little soft plastic stopped working. And all we went over to is the pinky, and Connor changed his to the bigger green, and straight away, threading. So always change if it's not working. Yeah, blue. Get rid of your fucking rag. Someone gets spiked. Right. Watch your feelings. <laughs>